Are you planning a trip to Mongolia? Are you prepared for the type of toilets you're going to be experiencing? In this video, I am going to share with you how to navigate those toilets in Mongolia. Mongolia is one of my favorite places I've been to so far, and I cannot wait to get back there. Now, there are a few things that you're going to want to know about Mongolia, and the one that I'm going to be discussing today is the toilets, also known as the long drops. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. So long drops. Okay, well, let's first get started. When you are in Ulaanbaatar and you're staying at your hotel, your hostel, wherever you're staying, you're going to have normal toilets. You're going to have Western toilets. It's going to be fine. But once you get out into the countryside, which is the whole point of going to Mongolia, is you're going to be in the, the long drop toilets or you're just peeing in the bush. So just be prepared for that. And you want to be being, if you're peeing in the bush, you want to pee really fast because there's a lot of bugs sometimes depending on when you're going. Okay, why is it called the long drop? Well, for the majority of the toilets that you're going to be using, they're going to be squat toilets. Um, and it's not your typical squat toilets that you have found in like Asia, uh, different parts in Asia and stuff like that. They're not uh, a stall or a, uh, like even around a porcelain plate on the, on the ground. These are open. And the first one that I really remember doing it, we were staying in these gurs and it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere like everything is because everything is out in the middle of nowhere in Mongolia. We, I go over to go use the bathroom and it's basically like a giant, I want to say like a trough <laughs> because it had like a, a wood paneling, you know, kind of thing there um, set up in front of you. And then it had planks of like two by fours or probably something was probably less than that. It was like, <laughs> they were that wide. Um, they had them multiplying probably about six of them across this giant hole. And this hole was like really dug down. So that's why it's called the long drop is because the holes that most of these toilets are in have huge, have been dug out really, really deeply. So you don't want to fall in <laughs> and, and that. So when you go in these toilets, depending on the time of day that you're, you're there, you don't really want to look down um, because not all of them are going to be long drops. Some of them are really shallow, depending on where you're staying, who you're staying with and that. And you can see everything, like everything. And even the bugs that are decomposing all of the, uh, the waste and, and stuff like that. And it's just, nah, not, not pleasant. So don't look down. Just don't look down. The next thing you want to have is balance. Now, a lot of these places just have wooden planks for you to straddle and, and to step on so that you then squat and you do your business in between these planks. So you want to have balance. Balance is hard and especially getting up. If you want more information on using squat toilets, check out my other video on how to use squat toilets. I go into deep detail, but you want to have balance. You don't really want to touch anything. I usually use a finger just to kind of balance myself out or I hold on to my legs, but you don't want to fall down into these ones because there's no safety net <laughs> like there are in Asia when you're straddling over the porcelain floor um, hole. These ones are just wide open and it's not going to be pretty. Now, when you go to certain areas that uh, we went to camping spots and that, and they had like kind of like little outhouses that you could, that were in these kind of squat toilets type thing. Same thing, hole in the wall, hole in the, hole in the wall, hole in the ground, and you're just squatting over some planks. But the thing with these ones here is that these ones, even though they look the nicest, uh, they usually smell the worst. So <laughs> it's because it's in an enclosed area. So you want to really um, breathe through your mouth. I can breathe through my mouth and not smell anything. Ugh, for some reason, a lot of people can't do that. 
but breathe through your mouth, hold your nose, whatever you need to do, put a little menthol underneath your nose to help you out and just get it done and over with. I prefer ones that are out in the open because it's not as smelly. Now that's the other thing. All the, mostly all of them are going to be out in the open. So there's just going to be like a little wall in front of you, but your butt is going to be, uh, facing out. <laughs> so you're on plain view wherever you are. These toilets are usually, um, strategically placed. So they are not going to have a lot of people walking behind you and people can usually see if someone is actually using the toilet and no one's going to be there. Plus the whole thing about Mongolia where it's <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere all the time, you're rarely going to have people coming out behind you and checking out <laughs> your butt or anything like that. So just be prepared. You're going to be, um, definitely airflow going through, uh, taking a, taking, um, going to the bathroom. I'm not going to say the other thing. <laughs> and the last thing you want to be aware of is you want to bring toilet paper because there are no little, um, butt guns or anything like that to wash off your hands or there's nothing. There's no sink. There's no toilet paper. There's nothing around. So you do your business and then you have your own toilet paper with you. You just drop the toilet paper into the hole and that's it. You either are carrying hand sanitizer with you or you have it back at your camp and you'll be able to wash your hands uh, that way. So I hope this prepares you and doesn't scare you off from going to Mongolia because it is an amazing, amazing place to explore and visit. So be prepared have a good time and enjoy the experience. Now, if you have any questions, just let me know, pop them down below and I'll be happy to answer those for you. Now, if you are planning on traveling during COVID-19, there are a bunch of things that have changed because of this pandemic. Now you want to make sure you're doing all these things so that you have a fun and safe time. I've created a guide to traveling during COVID-19. It's all for free. You'll be able to pick that up down below in the description. All you have to do is click on the link and you'll be able to download it from there. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.